Okay, we're going to be putting the Uclear Motion 6 boomless helmet communicators in the BRP ski oxygen helmet. Power here. on. And it's pretty simple. There's a, that's what I love about the Uclear system is it's there's not a lot of components to it. You've got the communicator, you've got your ear pads with the microphones on wires. And uh, and that's pretty much it. They uh, they're self-contained. That plug plugs into the unit, and uh, you're off to the races once that's done. I really like the look of these things. They look really futuristic. I want to take advantage of the buttonless gesture control, where you can just wave your gloved hand over the device. Whether you want to change tracks in your playlist, answer or hang up a phone call, etc. So I'll put it on this side of the helmet away from my camera mount and away from the switch that activates the sun visor in the helmet. So I've got lots of room here. My camera's out here. The switch is easy to activate with the device there. And there's lots of wire. I like this kind of angle because it flows with the lines of the helmet here. This is the actual mount for the that will go on the helmet. It'll go like that. I'm going to snap the device into it and then set it on there so I can see exactly the room it needs. So I'm happy with that. I've cleaned the helmet off here with al rubbing alcohol and we'll just uh, remove the, the backing from the mount and you'll see the U Uclear logo is upright so I know that's the right orientation and then I can just firmly press that into place like so. I'll pop that up and I'll just continue to press it into place. Is pressure sensitive adhesive on there? But you can see it's very minimal when it's off, when the device is not clipped in. And when you want to clip that device in, it's really easy to do. I can see that being easy with gloves on too. We generally never have to touch the device, but it's nice and low profile. Like It's not like some of the devices you see hanging out with a big antenna on it. That's nice and clean. It's almost like it's part of the helmet. Love it. All. We're going to remove the liner. Start by snapping off each corner here of the back. There's a little red tab in there. And then we can pull the back out along like that. The front is four little clips that pull straight out. So the red ones pull up, these ones pull out. There's four of them and they pop out like that. There's your chin deflector already out. In the uh, ski oxygen helmet, they use a noise control system here and it's ear pads. I, I liken these to what a weed eater or a chainsaw pad would have. Pull those out like that. They Velcro in. I don't know if there's a right or a left, but there is a top on it, which you'll see here. And that's really important when we get into putting the communicators in because there is a, a wire management system that you'll see BRP has been smart enough to include that allow installation a lot easier. We're actually going to take it apart. There's, you can just pull that thing out like that. There's three pieces here. We've got the cup, we've got the padding, and then we've got this part here. Now this can come out as well. See that? That pops out as well. So you've got it. And you see here's a little wire management system that I was talking about. There is a right and left on these speakers here. One wire shorter, obviously. But you'll see labeled on the top, that's the left speaker as you're facing forward. So it, wires go down. This piece here pops out like that. And that fits right around it. Isn't that nice? We want to keep this thing from moving around in the in the cup as much as possible. So in the Uclear kit, there's these Velcro pads. They stick on the back of the, the speaker like this. Center that up like so. And then center the cap over it as well. Like that so I can place it. it looks like it's dead center in, in that that cup so I'll just put it like that that keeps it from moving around everybody's happy
There we go. Make sure you do this step. They even have two cutaways for your wires to pop through. It's like it was made for this. This actually will pop in like that. Put your wires through there. And then this can snap over like, just like when we took it off. It takes a little bit of wiggling. Feel where that cutout was there. Pull that along to it like that. Let's make that a little bit bigger. So the boom can fit through. There, just make sure everything looks like it's in place and centered like this. And that's the, that's the left speaker done. Center that up on there like that. Position that in the cup. I'll make sure that that backs all the way in like that. There you have it. That's the second one done. So what I like about that is there's lots of room for your ear in there as well. The nice thing about the U-Clear is the length of the wires on the boomless mics actually give you a lot of options for installation. I'm going to show you a couple of options in this video. The one is putting the microphones in the headliner here like that. That works well on, on motorcycles and works on the snowmobile. And I also played around with sound quality uh, mounting it just underneath the vent there. Hopefully you can see that. There's one on each side which works really well. So for the left one, just uh, you'll see the Velcro in there. Just make sure the Velcro is lined up. The ear pad and speaker in place, we're going to mount the microphone just underneath the front vent. This is my preferred way to mount it because it's easy, it's clean, and you can remove the cheek pad if you need to. There's three snaps here. We're going to remove this cheek pad. And there's a little piece of Velcro at the top. Just remove that cheek pad. Once that pad's removed, we're going to take the 3M Velcro strips. We're going to place the microphone with the tiny hole facing out. We're going to peel the backing off. And we're going to stick that just underneath the vent there. Once that's in place, I put the wire up between these two so it kind of holds it in place and then we can stick in the cheek pad. A little piece of Velcro up there we have to Velcro in place and then the clips can be put in. Just make sure you hear it and there you go you can see it's a nice clean installation the, the skirt will be mounted in here and uh, now we'll do the other side. This one here, we've already fished the wire through. We'll, we'll mount the, uh, the microphone and then we'll just clip this back into place. Pretty simple. And there you have it. Okay, we're actually going to mount these into the headliner of the helmet. So we'll start by putting in the earpiece. Line up the Velcro, stick it in like that. Then we're going to remove the headliner. There's a little clip on the end that pops out, and then the rest will actually just pull straight back. Like that. Clips out. And that'll pull straight back. Now Uclear includes these little clips. You'll see there's a microphone outlet and there's tape on the back side. We're going to peel this back. We're going to set our microphone in it with the hole facing up like that so it's peeking through. And we're going to Velcro it back closed. So there you have it. that and the other side we'll do over there.
see all the backing strips. And it, we're going to position it so it's about even space like the other side, just like that. It's going to go down, tuck our wires in to get them out of the way. So it's kind of a direct run from the ear pad to the, the front piece. Do the same over here. So you can see I'm just moving this so that it's on the edge of the foam. So it's not going to be digging into my forehead. It's on the edge of the foam and it should clear that plastic liner now. And it does. I can feel it right there. So that's where you do. Move that so it's on the edge of the, the foam. But it's still within so it doesn't dig into your forehead. And you can feel along in here that it still feels good. Now they are in place. It's pretty clean there but I have this mess here at the back. Plug it in like that, just so we know how much wire we actually need. So I'm just going to pop, see, snap, snap. Manage the wires, so to speak. And I don't mind even putting a piece of tape in the back there to hold that. So once that's in there, you'll see the snap. Make sure the wires are out of the way, you're not pinching them in there. Boom, boom, boom. I think that looks great pop these chin pieces in, hook out, velcro's in and there's just a couple of snaps, three snaps. We just have to put the wind curtain back in and that's pretty easy. Just reverse it taking it apart. We're going to start in the front part goes around the button. Once you get those two front anchors in, everything else should line up, lickety split. We'll do the back like that. These wires will come out. See the, the, the brake here in the plastic? I'll put them just behind that brake so the plastic's not at risk of digging in. Just follow that around just like when we took it off. in, massage it around, make sure it's snapped in and not between the shell and the and the red clip. You'll, it's, now the skirt's in, the commu communicator's in, and away we go. Power on. Battery level high. I think that looks great. But again, I like how streamlined it is when it's on the helmet. You don't even realize it's there. Just a little update here. After the first few rides using the, uh, the helmet, I noticed there was some pressure uh, pushing against my ear from the, uh, the ear pad and what I, what I decided to do was try, it was ever so slight, so I removed the backing of the noise cancelling system and then I actually just velcroed the U-Clear pad to its velcro spot in the helmet and then I purchased some hook and loop velcro as you can see here, put the loop inside the helmet around the speaker and then what I do is I just uh, line this up and velcro it down and that keeps that pad from falling out on the floor when I take my helmet off. And it gives it just enough room that makes that very comfortable. And I still get all the benefits of that noise control system that was engineered into the helmet. Just a little hack tip for you guys. If, you're, if it doesn't quite fit your head, just remove that back piece and, uh, and stick it in like that. It'll work fine.